Yeah, that's really the big part of this winter storm. I don't think it'll be remembered by snow, two to four inches on average. Unless you're in northern LaPorte County, you could exceed a foot. But this winter storm will be remembered by the chill that it's bringing on in because by morning here in Chicago, we could have wind chills 30 below to 35 below in our western viewing area as cold as 40 below to 45 below. Uh, this is a live look from northwest Indiana near Michigan City. Snow covered I-94. This is outside of CBS2 Daily Plaza. Uh, snow covered roads here in the loop for sure. A little bit of slow travel. I took a look outside our street side studio during the break on Dearborn and also in Washington Street. We have snow on the ground. Kankakee, just some light snow here in the north of downtown on Sheridan. The Mobile Weather Lab also experiencing some snow covered roads, but we're doing OK. Heaviest snow is going to be here in northwest Indiana. Not done here in northwest Indiana. OK, snow covered I-94 and that will be the case all night long with a steady snow, but on the lighter side here in the loop and the snow will taper off beyond 8 p.m. So this snow is going to move out a lot sooner than we thought. Great news, but here's the other factor. Winds will accelerate overnight into tomorrow morning, so blowing and drifting snow tomorrow morning and through much of Friday. So not a whole lot of new accumulation overnight and through the day tomorrow, but it's ground blizzard type conditions for some, meaning anything that's on the ground is just going to be blowing all day and all night. Here's a look at the forecast with three below at 11 p.m. Here in the city, it'll feel like 27 below. By the time we head into 5 a.m., we're at seven below for the air temperature, but it'll feel like 33 below. So it is a very cold dangerously cold start to the day for tomorrow. And again, some places out here towards the west, wind chills potentially as cold as 45 degrees below zero. So here's a check of the radar loop about to get a bit of a lull to move into Chicago, but there's one little very small brief band of light snow. After that, not a whole lot more in the accumulation department. Again, the exception is in northeastern Porter County and LaPorte County. We're not getting it just yet, but overnight into tomorrow, we'll have that lake effect snow machine kick on in. So this is the steadiest and heaviest snow for the remainder of this event in Chicago right now. Could pick up another half inch, maybe an inch, maybe, but you get the idea. Things are going to be improving in a big way from new accumulation over the next couple of hours. What's not improving is the temperature. Single digits across Cook County at four at Midway, as cold as three below DeKalb, McHenry, and Ottawa. Ten above right now in Valpo, but it feels like eight below with the wind. Feels like 27 below right now. The wind chill in Aurora and McHenry feels like 29 below in both DeKalb and Ottawa, about 12 below to 19 below here in Chicago. So watch the snow come to an end for most of us as we head towards late evening. Again, the exception is this lake effect snow machine, not just tonight, but much of tomorrow, especially in LaPorte County. But blowing snow continues for tomorrow, the high of only one. Wind chills tomorrow is cold as 20 below zero in the afternoon. 10 on Christmas Eve, 12 on Christmas Day, partly cloudy, but still all holiday weekend long. Dangerous wind chills below zero by several degrees. It's a slow climb to 35 on Wednesday and 45 a week from today. Joe, Erica.